hi hi today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys 10 beginner skincare tips and skincare hacks that will give you that hydrating and glowy skin i'm talking about is not skincare products that will give you this glow and hacks no i'm talking about things you would do that will give you that glowy and hydrating skin guys i know we've all had our own shares of skincare problems skincare acne eczema breakout hyperpigmentation and all of that i mean i was one of those persons i went from a hundred down to a zero that childbirth it was a lot for me so my skin my skin went through the most during that period and i'm so glad to be back again like nothing ever happened okay if that's something you're interested in then definitely keep on watching <music> First thing you need to do one of the most important i feel like this is the most important of them all is to make sure you cleanse your skin always cleanse your skin at least twice a day i know this sounds like a no-brainer but believe you me when you cleanse your skin twice a day morning and evening gives your skin that healthy glow makes it smooth and beautify the skin as well you don't want to over cleanse your skin like washing off your face all the time no because this might lead to dryness of your face and which will lead to skin irritation but when you cleanse your skin at least twice a day in the morning and in the evening it gives your skin that smooth and beautiful feeling and helps to get rid of those environmental toxins and dirt you accumulated during the day you just wash them off before going to bed this helps to brighten up your complexion and helps to beautify your skin and get rid of all those dead cells don't ever wear makeup to bed when you make up to bed trust me will hey it will make your skin to go through hell you know those chemical products that you've applied on your skin during the day and then you allow it to sit in on your skin till the following morning my dear you're calling acne you're calling eczema you're calling you're calling all the skincare problems in this life you're calling them down to your face so always make sure you wash your skin every night before going to bed aside from washing them in the morning when you're having your bath and all of that even if you're not going to have your bath at night try as much as possible to wash your skin the next one would be choose the right skincare product okay don't use a skincare product for an oily skin type on a dry skin type you're going to cause problem for your skin you're going to cause skin irritation to that particular skin because you don't have an oily skin and you're using the product meant for oily skin on a dry skin person my dear you're causing problem because your skin is going to dry out so try to use product that are meant for your own skin type i know you might feel like it's working for this person so let me try it out honey you don't want to do that use something that is meant for your skin to not because you see someone you know using it and then you want to go try it out i know some products that they have the one for oily skin and they have the one for dry skin like when it comes to seraphil i use their cleanser they have the one for dry skin they have the one for oily skin so because i'm a dry skin person i won't go and use the one for oily skin and say oh trauma is using that one so i want to use that one no i'll use the one that is meant for my skin type that way to avoid skin breakouts and skin dryness one other thing you want to do too is you can test run this skincare product on your skin for a few few days or a few weeks to see if you react to them before you start applying them majorly on you okay so that way you get to understand ah should i go ahead with it or i should not this one i would say you don't need to go to you know a spa to do this one you can actually do it from the comfort of your home that's a steaming of your face when you steam your face it helps to open up your pores which will allow your skincare product to absorb smoothly into it how do you do this all you have to do is boil water and use a bowl to pour the hot water then just cover your head with a blanket or you could use your towel to cover your head let the heat or the steam from the water you know heat on your face you just like you're doing steam inhalation that's the way you just open up your pores this will help your skincare product to you know absorb you can do this maybe once in a week or twice in a week this will help your skincare product to work effectively and also make sure that your skin is properly taken care of so steaming of your face is really really one thing you want to add to your skincare routine if probably you've been taking care of your skin before now and you've not been steaming my dear you're missing out on a lot just start steaming your face every once in a week same thing i talk about when it comes to exfoliating every once twice in a week so steam your face make it a routine maybe on a weekend you can just do it and just you know give your face that proper treatment it needs okay the next thing you want to be doing is, is to wash your makeup brushes make it a habit or you should get acquainted to it 
washing of your makeup brushes this is a must i mean you can't be using the same makeup brushes you've been using since last year that all the makeup once you apply makeup is dirty you keep it you use it again you apply makeup is dirty you keep it you're accumulating dirt over time and then you're still using it on your skin and you're expecting yourself not to have breakout i don't know the magic you want to do or i don't know how you want to do it but definitely your skin is going to suffer your skin is going to get irritated because you're still spreading the same gems on top of a clean skin you know when you finish having your bath even if you still even if you wash your face or you cleanse your face regularly and then you go back to use the same makeup brush that you've not washed for years honey you want to kill your skin that's just the truth because your skin is going to break out the makeup won't even come out nice because you're still reusing the same old products that have been stocked on the makeup brush so you want to make sure you wash your makeup brushes always use hot water and there's a makeup pad pad that has some you know um rough edges around it that you scrub your brush on top i'll put a screen or i'll put a picture of what it looks like over here you just rub your brush on top of it and the dirt will go off use hot water wash it off then dry them air dry them make sure they are properly dried before you use them again and if maybe you might not have the time to do this more often then whenever you're done with your makeup always look for a way to just you know use a wipe to wipe off those makeups out of the brush when you wipe up those products out of the brush you, then you can keep them maybe you want to use them again you can be able to use them because you've wiped out some of those products a situation whereby you don't even wipe it you don't wash it you just go back to using it you're going to cause more problem for yourself you're going to cause more harm for your skin the next one you want to do is to make sure that you drink a lot of water then it's take in a lot of liquid and when i mean liquid i mean water i don't mean alcohol okay try to take in enough water this helps to flush out toxins from your body flush out toxins from your skin as well your pores it makes you sweat it makes your skin you know rejuvenate and all of that so try to take in enough water don't be like you don't like water my dear water water does a lot of magic for us water flush out those toxins in your body that your body doesn't need you know when you've taken too much of salt and you start taking a lot of water it helps to wash out those salt out of your system you know when you've taken a lot of sugar and you don't even know what to do see water just cleanses your system completely same thing it does to your skin it flushes out those chemicals those toxins that have been in your system for a while and because it's been there it's giving you different skin reactions skin allergies you know clogged pores and all of those things so try to take in enough enough water taking in water will really help you which will lead me to the next one try to sleep more often the normal body system needs five to seven hours of sleep in a day like when you sleep at night you need to sleep early so that your skin doesn't feel stressed out you don't wake up and start having eye bag you don't look like you're completely drained so try to get enough sleep as possible because this will really tell on your skin you start having this eye bag saggy skin and all of that so try to make sure that you have very good sleep if you know you can't sleep all through the night then try to have you know naps during the day this will really really help you to get your skin back and get yourself back because i mean if you're tired you might not even have the strength to do your skincare products or to take care of yourself okay so try as much as possible to sleep very well as much as you can because this will really really help you which leads to me telling you moisturize your skin i don't know what number i am right now because i am doing this in no particular order moisturize your skin okay look for a very good moisturizer this will help your skin to stay hydrated often help to give it that glowy skin whenever you're going out your skin is looking all hydrated which will lead to the glowiness that your skin deserves okay if you can see i'm wearing a makeup but i did moisturize my face before i wore this makeup so try as much as possible to moisturize your skin to keep it hydrated which is the taking in of enough water and also wear a sunscreen okay i know a lot of people talk about sunscreen look for sunscreen that works for you it must not be those ones that are sweating now look for something that you know that is friendly with your skin type and you don't have issue when it's like me any sunscreen that makes me sweat a lot i don't even bother going after it anymore i just give up on the sunscreen and look for something else okay also if you're not doing this i think every other thing you're doing <laughs> is wrong because if you don't eat healthy like if you don't have a clean diet no matter what you rub on your skin your skin is going to break out you see I'm, i don't know how to say this but if your diet is not clean when i mean clean you don't eat veggies you don't incorporate them even if it's not in high amount but they are not in your meal your skin is going to break out anytime any day your skin is going to break out so try as much as possible to eat healthy very important try to eat clean try to eat fruits maybe at night you can just use 500 naira but just maybe if it's watermelon or oranges 
just add some vitamins to your food. Try to add, some people use supplements because they know they can't get to the fruits. But I would advise you get the natural fruit because I'm used to the natural fruits. I don't have issues with supplements. If probably that's what you can lay your hands on, then fine. But try to eat fruit, okay? Try to have a clean diet. This will really, really help you. Don't eat too much of carbs. Don't eat too much of protein. Don't eat something like fat because there are a lot of foods we eat that has much of fat. And fat is not so good for our skin, okay? So my last but not the least to be always wear a smile, my darlings. Wear a smile, okay? If you're wearing a smile, it helps your face not to wrinkle. <laughs> because when you're always frowning, your face are wrinkling, your face are squeezing, the muscles there, the facial muscles are squeezing. Even when you're not, even when you're not angry, it looks like you're angry because you're used to wearing a frown. So try to wear a smile as much as possible. A smile makes you look elegant. A smile makes you look more, more approachable. So try to wear a smile often. A smile will really help people to feel comfortable around you. So try as much as possible to wear a smile and that will be the last on my list so guys those are my few tips on how to have a glowy and hydrating skin if that's something you enjoyed watching please let me know in the comment section if there are other tips you will have to share or something you've been doing that's been working for you also let me know in the comment section please like and share this video and also comment and i will see you guys on my next one please don't forget to follow me on my social media pages on my instagram at jenna underscore chiwon tiktok jenna chiwon and my thread at jenna chiwon as well thank you so much guys for watching i will see you guys on my next one bye